It's very important when you're house coding that all the alarms are all done together. So what I'm going to demonstrate is how to house code a couple of alarms with an alarm controller. So the first thing to do is to make sure that all the RF modules are all inserted. This is done by plugging in the aerial into the back of the unit, sliding it until it clips onto position, slide the alarm onto the bases. You will notice the startup sequence. Then again, you do the same with the other units, put the module in, push it back, and then slide the alarm onto the base. Once you've done all that, you're ready to start house coding. And it's the same procedure with all the alarms in the system. So if you get your screwdriver, push it into the slot, blue light comes on solid, it will do some random flashing, and it should now start flashing once every sort of few seconds. This is to tell you that the signal is going out from the module. You then need to get your next alarm and you'll do exactly the same. Press it until the blue light comes on solid. It will do some random flashing and then again, it will start sending out its signal. You may need to have some switches to the circuit. So again, you do the same thing. You go onto the back of the switch. You can see the house code button. You press that until the blue ring comes on the front release, it will start flashing and it will start sending out some flashes. What you're looking for now then are the right number of flashes with the right number of devices. This will count as two flashes because you've got two sensors. That will flash once and that will also flash once. So what we're looking for now are four flashes on each of the devices. Once they've all paired up and you've got the four flashes on each one, then that system can be then sealed.